Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jack Shank here and today we're going to do yet another property review. It is Wine Cochrane at Kel. So where exactly is Wine Cochrane, you may ask? It is right opposite IKEA. <laughs> so yes, uh, actually I'm within IKEA's compound. This is IKEA. Yeah. And right beside IKEA is of course my town shopping center. Yeah, one of the premium shopping malls in Malaysia. And opposite that road. Uh, you can see that is basically the LRT station or MRT station, sorry, of Cochrane. So going back to Wine Cochrane, uh, it consists of two blocks. See? Yeah. 37 stories, 448 units. This one in front here is basically the car park building and also the facilities building on top. Yeah. So the smallest unit that you have here is 900 square feet plus plus. That's a two bedroom, two bathroom and the biggest is basically 1,200 plus plus square feet, three bedroom and three bathrooms. So again, like what I was mentioning, this is very very centrally located, uh, right opposite IKEA. And towards this side is actually T-Rex. T-R-X. So it's very very uh, close to city centre already, if you think about it. It's only one station away from TRX 106 MRT station. I'm not sure you can see around the corner. Should be able to see it. Yes, that is T-Rex. Yeah. So yes, without further ado, let's head in. Let's go. So we are in the development of Wine Cochrane. Behind me is the guard house which we have just got through. So the structure is a bit unique whereby the car park building is a standalone building with the facilities on top. I'm not sure you can see and the residential building, two blocks of it are separated. So this will probably give a better view. Yes. So these are the two blocks, block A and B, and this is the car park building with facilities on top and that's a connecting bridge between the two blocks so if you want to go from your residence building to your facilities or car park you don't need to come down to the ground floor this reminds me of uh, I'm Vertica where they have a similar structure car park on one side with the facilities above and the residence on this side So this is the drop-off area, the cars turn in, they drop off passengers. So there are basically two lift lobbies, uh, that will be block B and this will be block A. But just before I go up, look at that. Certainly looks luxurious. So let's head in. The unit that we'll be reviewing is in Block A. Let's go. Into the lift lobby. So there's no sitting spots here as mentioned. So it's all outside the lift lobby, which is again a good thing. So visitors come, they don't need to wait. They can immediately sit down. Let's head up. They actually have Braille for those who are visually disabled. Nice. And of course, it's on both panels, even on the other panel also. Stepping out of the lift, we are on the 36th floor. And you actually have all these nice tiles, natural stone tiles, even in the lift lobby. So to continue on that nice grand feel. But this part is such a stark contrast, where it's just bare. So, very funny transition. There are a total of six units on each floor, so it's very low density. 
and the walkway is average, six, just over six feet. So this is the unit that we will be reviewing. This is a type five, 1055 square feet, two bedroom, two bathroom. So immediately at your landing area, you have space for your shoe cabinet. And look at this. <laughs> nice. The race. Shit. The curve. So a sizable uh, area here when you enter. Your DB is behind the door. Flushed. This is of course a, I think it should be only a single face. Yep, it's only a single face. Of course, it's just a two bedroom unit. So one of the key highlights of this uh, development for each unit is they give you actually a video intercom for security. OEM, one re Cochrane residence. So this is your dry kitchen or wet kitchen, uh, your kitchen rather is here. This area, the dining, I think you can have a very nice dining. I'll talk about the view later. And your living room also have a very nice view. So this layout is very interesting. Whereby you have your living room and your dining facing this direction and your two bedrooms to my back facing that direction. So totally opposite directions. This is a new new layout to me that I've uh, yet to see before. This is the kitchen area, 5 feet house. You've got ducting, ready ducting for your hood to suck out all your air. If you, assuming you install a hood, right? Piping. It's good nowadays that actually they don't provide that cheap uh, sink. No one uses it, you know, when it's always provided and people more often than not, I always see it being disposed, you know, so it's a total waste of material. Yeah, your water in the outlet. This is your yard area. Hmm, let me see. I'm not sure if there's space for your fridge actually. Unless your fridge goes there. And this is an extension of your kitchen, but it'd be weird. Otherwise, this really isn't much space for your kitchen. If assuming you put your fridge here, your sink, and then your space to cook, it's very limited indeed. The yard area. Oh, interesting. So they provide this for your washing machine. You can connect your hose directly. Usually, they'll provide this only. And when you provide this, right, you don't, how do you expect owners to put their washing machine holes into that? So what they'll do is, people will always remove this and they have to buy a new one or they just remove it totally and put the holes there, which leaves it open and not so nice, right? This is your icon latch. Well, interesting that they actually have a double, uh, you've got a metal pipe there and then you've got an aluminium uh, fin. Maybe you can do cooking here, can you? Maybe you can actually. No, but I, I think it's possible. You just have to cover this up. Uh, sliding windows, folding windows, and you can actually can cook here. Then you have more space. There is your washing machine. Here is space, low kitchen cabinet. Then you change the door to a folding see-through door. Okay, let's talk about the view. Yes, so your dining can be here. You get a nice view. Basically, okay, this is dirty, so you can't really see clearly. Let me step up. You basically look, overlook the Royal Slango Golf Cup. Oh, it's also a bit hazy actually. Yeah. So maybe not just the window being dirty, but it's also hazy. And at the bottom, yes, IKEA. My town. Two mega shopping malls. Right at your doorstep. And that is TRX. 106 financial hub which again 
is only one station away from Kokrian MRT. Kokrian MRT, from here, see, that's the guard house, right? That is Cochrane MRT already, which is only 240 meters walk. Walk along 240 meters, couple of minutes, LRT, first stop, TRX. So it's extremely, extremely convenient. Okay. It's a bit hazy, by the way, so you can't really see much. This is our living room. Points are here, so yeah, the TV panel should be this side. It's more than spacious, right? So it's very, uh, again, not your typical type of layout. And got a lot of sunlight coming in for this unit. It's the common bathroom, which is also sizable. It's big. For this sunken area here, to put your glass, to put your mirror, sorry. Mirror. Do rub it. Hans Go, go Hair. Hans, oh, this is the brand uh, from Germany, which I just reviewed that this. Uh, also used. Which development is that? Very high development in KL. Uh, okay, I can't recall. Uh, but yes, very high development. This is a very good brand actually. Hans Goa Rabbit Water Closet Also Hans Goa Okay, I remember the developments Area Luxury Residence KLCC Everything inside there is luxurious And they are using the same one as this It's the one you see here in one concrete This is the guest room. So the floor is actually uh, engineered timber flooring. And what engineered timber flooring is, right? So it's a step down from solid wood, which is really expensive. Uh, but you can see, right, the design you know, or, or the patterns of it is not similar. It's because the top layer of this is actually veneer solid wood. So it's a thin layer of solid wood and the bottom is actually plywood uh, hence it's called engineered uh, timber flooring so aircon and a fan hook and this looks towards the back so this highway is max highway leading towards uh, the airport that is Try on KL, which we've reviewed. Further towards the back, you can see uh, Raza City, very congested, so many buildings. And closer towards here, we've got a school at the bottom. That is a SMK convent, Jalan Peel. And of course, very, very close towards a Sunway Velocity. All these buildings here, you see, this, 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 all, they, they form part of a Sunway Velocity already. And this is Sunway Velocity too, which I also reviewed recently. And further behind is M Vertica. Yeah. So that's the view for this unit. This is the master bedroom. So one very nice feature of this development also is that they give you an emergency switch. So the moment you press this, it basically alerts, it makes a basic call to the security house, security guard house. Yeah. You, don't, you don't need to go out to your intercom, you don't need to press buttons. Just this, pop, and it will trigger them. The master bathroom, you got a socket here, nice, very dryer. Right a hair dryer for this. Got the top. You rub it. You rub it. So the layout is a bit different also. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if this is actually bigger or the same size. Because in this type of layout, right, when you open the door this side, you can't see the whole bathroom. 
Hence, it will actually give you the impression that this bathroom might not be as big as the common bathroom. But it's actually similar based on my estimate. This is a nice space that I think you can utilize to do your wardrobe. It's about seven feet from my estimate. Yeah, so I think it's a more than sufficient even for a couple seven feet wardrobe. And this part is your main part for the master bedroom to have your bed. Same view as the other bedroom. So like I mentioned, it's totally opposite view, opposite ends, right? Your view for your rooms and your views for your living and dining, which is in that direction. I'll probably put a bed here and towards this side, I think I'll do my study table or office table. Where the PowerPoint's there and then you can get a view, you get a glimpse out from time to time. Of course, you've got your fan hook and your aircon. Total of three icons, inverter, all of them from Daikin. So yes, that sums up the review of this property here at One Cochrane. If you're interested to get this unit, do reach out to Jess. Uh, contact is below in the description. Now that we've finished reviewing this unit, let's head down to the facilities floor. Let's go. We are back on upper ground. So towards this end, there's supposed to be space for a kindergarten and also a laundry. You can see the water inlets. Minimart. That's supposed to be laundry. This is a minimart. And this is supposed to be space for nursery. So the main attraction for this ground floor is that these two tree house. So let's hit there. Very very nice uh, deco and feel to the whole place. You make it feel very luxurious, right? You look at this walls, the marbles. ID. I, I like the fact that they have this waiting communal area outside the lift lobby. You know? So when visitors come in, they can actually wait here, you know, as opposed to standing. Because if it's inside, then you have to stand outside the lift lobby before someone tags you in. Okay, I'll just fast forward this part. So there's the tree house. Approximately, I would say this is like a three story type of height structure. Your surround and your management office is here. So this is basically ground floor. That's the way they coin it. Yeah. Surround and management office behind here. But what we are interested in is to explore this structure. Sunken tree house. This tree house, sorry. Not sunken tree house. Sunken garden. Not much on this garden actually. I guess this is supposed to be a sunken garden. Nice sitting areas around. And nothing there beneath. So yes, let's head up. So this is the first story. We have some seats here. Sit approximately 10 max. And we'll go up. Let's see if the top is any different. So we are at the top of the tree house. This is approximately three stories high. So this canopy is not, not much there. You only have a 
this functional canopy over here, which you can sit. Approximately 10, 10 packs. You got this, uh, I think this is made from fiberglass, but done in a granite finish. And a couple of chairs. <laughs> so, not much, but pretty nice place to chill. Okay, now that we're finished reviewing the facilities on this floor, let's head up to the main facilities floor on level 9. Let's go! So we are on level 6, and this connects to the car park building, which has the main facilities. So this in grill is very interesting. Uh, it's basically two the residential units. So to go towards the car park, you basically walk via this slip access. Yeah. So those on level six, if you're buying a unit here, you still have your privacy. People still can't access uh, your doorstep, even though the facilities is on level six, people can tag down. But they can they can't go to your unit. Nice. So this transitions over to P9 of the car park building. So basically there are two levels to this facility. Uh, we start with the lower facility. There, at that side here, you basically have function rooms. I'm going to cut a fair bit because it's, this will take quite long. Uh, very, very big multi-purpose halls. Uh, but it's all bare, empty, and it's locked, I can't go through. This is the gym. Washroom. And a sauna. So this is a small size one. So this is the gym. Looks a bit messy in my opinion. Uh, And we'll go around this deck towards the back which has the outdoor playground and also the exercise, outdoor exercise equipment. So this is the outdoor exercise equipment and you got a small outdoor playground there. Let me see if I can talk a bit about the view. We are right beside Max Highway and at the bottom of Max Highway is basically Jalan Tun Razak. So that is uh, this one, Jalan Tun Razak, this is Max. Continue on. Okay, I'll just skip this part to save time. And this is the studio. Either for yoga or a dance studio. And this 
is the game room. So still not equipped yet. Still bare. Continuing on, on top there, we have the swimming pool. And this is why uh, maintenance is very important. You can see some of the plants starting to turn uh, brownish. So there are two lifts actually uh, from the bottom floor for, that serves the car park building. One is here and the other one is that. This is the wading pool. And at that corner there, you basically have the BBQ pit. Nice space. Got a fair bit of landscaping. I would think they would have two. This is B. Uh, I think there should be an A somewhere around. Probably a halal, non halal. You know, this is very common nowadays uh, to separate it. Ikea, right at the doorstep and my town shopping mall let's head up So there's this accessibility ramp also for those uh, wheelchair or baby stroller. This is the viewing deck on top there. Got some more outdoor equipment, outdoor exercise equipment. And here is basically So this space is supposed to be a cafe actually. <laughs> I'm not sure how can it be a cafe, but yes, this space here, cafe. And outside here is supposed to be outdoor dining. Okay, you have the lights, it's covered, so it's about there. But inside here, hmm, I'm not sure how is this supposed to be a cafe if this uh, very nice so far though, uh, the shape, right? And on the other end, it's supposed to be a lounge. So yes, this looks like a lounge indeed. Uh, not enough chairs. I think this is a preparation, back door, uh, back end preparation kitchen. Got the washroom there, and got the sink in here. So yes, that sums up the review here. I don't think so, you have much there. There's a meditation, meditation deck at the end and of course the outdoor, outdoor exercise equipment that I mentioned. So yes, that sums up the review of this facility, uh, this development here, one Cochrane. Uh, compared to the other two which I've reviewed recently nearby, which is Sunway Velocity 2 uh, and also M Vertica, I would say those are probably slightly more kid friendly yeah, in terms of the facilities. This slightly more 
towards the working professionals. Uh, that's the way I would see it. Even the units itself, right? The smallest units also, and even the unit that reviewed for that type of space, thousand square feet. Usually, other developers will have <laughs> easily throw in a three bedroom instead of a two bedroom, uh, which we have here. And you look at the facilities, you know, uh, and even the touch to the lobby, right? Very, very luxurious, very, very grand. They, they really want to cater to this working professional. That's the way I view this development, okay? So what do you think about this development? Would you stay in this development if you're working in, in uh, the city centre? Again, it's one station away only to TRX 106, the next financial hub in Malaysia. And right opposite the road, you have my town and also Ikea. So... Grocery wise, you know, entertainment is well taken care of. If you found this use video useful, please do smash the like button, do share it with your friends and family. And last but not least, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye!